Hey guys, so it is currently, I don't even know what the day is today. As you know, I ordered my wardrobes. Sorry, I breathless just ran upstairs. Then you'll know from my second moving vlog that we broke the side panels of one of the wardrobes. So they finally arrived yesterday. It was quite bad because the tracking said that like they were gonna come on Monday and they didn't. And there was like no update and they just appeared. And I was at the gym, so they just left them outside. So that was a bit annoying. And one of them kind of came slightly damaged with a crack in and a dent. So I'm gonna to speak to Ikea and see what they can do about that. But because I'm so impatient and basically it's been a month since I've ordered them and I want them up. It was on the inside. So I'm just gonna see maybe if they can give me like a gift card so then I can buy some more furniture because I think I'm gonna need it. Let me show you the wardrobes. Let me close the doors. We haven't put the handles on yet because I think we have to drill them. I need to kind of have a proper look and see. But yeah, I'm so excited guys, look. Bosh, look how good they are. Let me show you the insides. Um, what I'm basically doing is I'm not organizing and putting stuff away, but because I'm kind of doing that now by hanging up some of the stuff on the floor, I just wanted to give you like, an overview of everything first. I'm basically storing everything away so everything's out of our bedroom and out of the living room because obviously it's not nice when people come around and you've got all your stuff out and about. So this one has a rail and a shelf. This is exactly what I had in my room at home. Um, so I wanted a longer one obviously for dresses and then I'm gonna store like my containers under there. I did put stuff on that shelf, but I'm gonna have to be careful because basically after like three years, my shelf broke and yeah, it was a disaster. So I need to put like, maybe like my Louis Vuitton shoe boxes on there, I'm not sure something just light and not fill it up. And then as you guys know, I'm gonna put all my Disney traditions in here because yeah, I'm a little kid, I don't care. I absolutely love Disney. And then I have to like open them at the top at the moment. <laughs> I need to pick up some more of these bright hangers because I've got gray ones. So I'm thinking maybe this cupboard could be all bright ones, but I'm gonna have to go to TK Maxx and have a look. I really wanna get some more because I just wanna have like bright and colorful. So this is a short, short one so i have like hoodies like anything short clothes up here and then obviously i do have baskets i'm not sure what i'm gonna put in them yet kind of wanted sprout here to help because she's really good at organizing and she'd be like a great help but i'm thinking like maybe i'll do it all and she can come around and help or just reorganize it for me so yeah the current situation is i do have that little thing there that i have no idea where i'm gonna put because as you guys will see when everything comes, I do want a nice pink rug there. I wanted my mirror here, like a standing mirror, but I think I'm gonna need a chest of drawers here. I'm not gonna lie. And that will close up the space quite a bit. Um, I'm thinking to get something like this or it's gonna have to be this, um, but I'm, I'm gonna need something else. I just know it. I do have all my stuff stored in here and here and in here, but this is all hanging stuff. So it should be fine. And I do have a box of like, tops also do you guys like my new dress that i got from new look i absolutely love it and then i also got this really nice like green one um but as you can see my footstool is down there i've got a lot of reorganizing to do i'm currently going through some stuff and getting rid of more stuff because i do not need this much stuff but yeah like i'm just literally gonna put stuff in so when I'm going to Wales this week well saturday to saturday so when i come back i'm gonna reorganize everything and i will film it for you so in the next part, because I'm going to stop filming now and obviously it will carry over. But in the next part, if you see like the stuff in the wardrobes, I'm just showing you that I'm just kind of putting it in now and then we'll take it out and reorganize it. But I just want to get stuff out of black sacks so I don't have too much like on the floor in this room because obviously I'm not sure if my boyfriend will bring people around when I'm not here and that. So I just want to make it a little bit presentable. But yeah, got all the mirror, rug, and then I'm going to definitely need like a chest of drawers. I don't want to fill this room up too much because it is a small room. It is going to feel cramped and I ideally want to film in here as well sometimes and shoot pictures, things like that. So a lot of changes hopefully to come now and also got to save some money to be able to do our bedroom. That's going to be the next on the list and then we'll eventually do like the living room and kitchen. But we'll take our time. Like, there's no rush to do these things. I am a very impatient person, but I just need to just chill and just save money. Right guys, it looks like I'm gonna have to start doing some work on the wardrobes now. Right, so the plan is I went on TK Maxx because if you saw in there, I had the neon hangers and um, obviously I need more of them. So I was like, oh my God, like you're never gonna get them online. So they've got them online. They have three packs left of 25. So I went to the one that's nearest to me and they had two packs left, but one was damaged. So I picked them up and then I realized 
that's also damaged. That's great. But yeah, I absolutely love them. No one's really going to see that blue one, so it is what it is. It kind of needs to hang everything up because otherwise I don't know how many more I'm going to need. And obviously they've only got two packs left online now. So what I've just hung up has now got to come off again. But I was thinking I'll put all my dresses and tops on there because obviously in this cupboard, I've got so much stuff now. Obviously in this cupboard, look, you can't see the neon. So it's a bit pointless of me buying them just to be covered up. So we'll put all grey like for these kind of items. And obviously with dresses, they're like gonna have a lot of the hang on show. So that's the plan. Yeah, I spend a lot of money on hangers and there's probably no need for it, but now like, I just gotta do it. They are kind of expensive. So a pack of 12 was 4 99 pack of 25 was 10 pound. Right, so I literally was like, oh my God, like this was to sprout. I was like, oh my God, I've literally fit everything in my wardrobe and so happy. Apart from like my jackets and that, I've just like kept them in the other thing for now because I do have some hooks on the back of my door that I'm gonna do like my dressing gowns and things on that. And then I realized I haven't done all my sweatshirts and tracksuits. So I've got a whole black sack down here full of them. Yeah, so I've only got one black sack left. So I was quite shocked that I actually fit a lot of stuff in. I don't know where I'm gonna put them unless I just put them under the bed with my PJs because I don't really wanna clutter like the hanging space too much. So I'll show you guys what I've done. So it's really hard to like show you. So I have to stand back a bit. So in here, we've got two body warmers. We've got some cardigans, sweatshirts, denim jackets, crop denim jackets jackets and all hoodies um i mean i don't really need like all of these how many black ones have i got look i've got two four six seven black ones but two four five of them i use for the gym and then these are a bit like messy so and you would you'd think i would have organized them properly but honestly i just kind of wanted to get everything in so i've got like lululemon sports bras miscellaneous sport bras sports bras CLS, Victoria's Secret, Lululemon again, they're like the short ones, these are all like tanks. And then I've got Lisi Fit ones, and then I put all my bikinis and swimsuits here with my Skims bodysuits because I wear them a lot, so I just thought, put them there, they're easy to get in reach. So yeah, I know where everything is, so it's an organised mess. And then I managed to fit all of my leggings in here, so we've got Lululemon, Lululemon, these are all like my jumpsuits and stuff. I actually want to sell that, so we'll take that out. CLS, Lululemon, like plain Lululemon. There's some Lisi Fit shorts under there and then Lululemon shorts and other miscellaneous shorts. And then in here, a bit random, but we've just got like gym t-shirts, jeans. Cause I'm trying to like narrow it down because I don't really wear a lot of stuff anymore. So like I wear the same thing. So I'm just trying to get rid of things. Um, and then here we've got like all summer stuff. So we've got like, short sets, jumpsuits and dresses, more body, well, body suits, dresses and jumpsuits, body suits, cardigans, and then just crop tops. And then in here, this is how the hangers came out, guys. I love it so much. I mean, it's not that obvious, but it's cute. And obviously these are just gray hangers because you can't even see them. So yeah, we've got all dresses, then it goes to like shirts and then tops. So that's what I've currently got. Obviously I'm gonna fill these bits up. I'm gonna have to find something like for storage on top. I wanna put like baskets and put like my shoes in there or something because I've got bags of shoes. Like I've got tons of boxes of shoes that I need to bring home from my parents' house. And then I also have a bag of shoes here, a bag of like slippers. I look an absolute mess. I look like I've been electrocuted, but yeah, I've just been working hard guys. And then a bag of like slippers over there. And then I've got to find a place to like put all of my handbags. So I've got like a lot of stuff. So the things I haven't fit in is underwear. So that's like all my thongs, knickers, all my sports, not my sports, but my Calvin Klein sets and like underwear sets, bras, socks. And that's it, I think. And I'm going to sell some bits on Depop as well. In my Depop is NLH Fit, I think, if you want to check it out, if you want to buy anything. Just going to find a home for them and then I'm just going to call it a day and then we'll get back to it. I'm having like a horrible breakout as well, guys. Like, but yeah, catch up with you guys later or maybe in a week's time when i'm back from holiday right so this is what i got to go on top of my cupboards oh, yeah. Hang, really man so bernard is back if you can't tell so i got four of these at the moment which i think might be enough but i do have loads of shoe boxes so we're gonna fill them up do them up and we're gonna put them up on top of here so we've got two boxes done this is like i do have some more that can go in this so i will have to get it back down when i bring more stuff around so that's got like slippers my um sandals and i've just put like 
heels, flip flops, shoes. I've got some trainers in, but this ain't gonna shut with that, so they might have to go, they might have to come out basically. I've got two more left, which I'm thinking I'm gonna fit some of my bags in and we'll put them up and we'll see how it fits. Filled up the last two with all my bags, all my nice little lounge fly bags. Let me show you guys actually, because they're so cute. So this one is a cute Cinderella one. We got Little Mermaid. That's my absolute favorite scene. Um, love my Peter Pan one. This is imported from Box Lunch. No, yeah, Box Lunch, but I got it on eBay. That one's also from Box Lunch. This was like last year or the year before. And then this one came from Hot Topic, also imported. This was eBay. Sprout got it for me. And I have another Peter Pan one on the way. Got a nice cute guest bag, green, obviously. And then, yeah, I've got quite a few guest bags in here. That's a green guest bag. That's another guest bag. That green purse is guest that matches that one. I've got a pink bag. So that is all my bags put away, apart from my nice new green one. And so I'm gonna try and put these up now and see much, how much space I've got left to put my shoe boxes and then we'll go from there and figure it out. Right guys, we've got the four boxes up there. I have a tiny bit of space, so let's see what we can fit up there. Um, but I also have like down the side of here, but I don't really wanna like put stuff down there if I can help it. So I'm gonna start off with my Timberland shoes because <laughs> They're the best. I'm gonna close my door so I don't get disturbed. Look, honey, let me I let the me just show YouTube all my rubbish shoes. No, people want to see it. Right, so my first ones are these Timberlands. These are apparently on limited release. I can't remember where I got these. Some of them I ordered on America. America? Some of them I, I, I can't even speak. I've ordered a pair from Foot Locker, which is the American website, but I can't remember where I got these ones from. But yeah. They're like a bright blue, absolutely love them. I haven't worn like my Timberlands in so long. Next pair we have are just a nice like little gray pair. They come in handy, they'll match anything. I think I also have a pair at home, which are a black pair that Bernard got me because um, I wanted them for the winter so I could start wearing boots. And Sprout got me these. I think she got me these in Rome, which was like six years ago. Like I said, I haven't worn these in a very long time. I never really get like, much use out of them because they were at the top of my cupboard. These are my all time favorite Tims. Oh, that's fluff. Obviously, I'm gonna love them the most. They're pink, they're like bubblegum pink. Try to keep these ones as pristine as I can. Those ones I did order on the Foot Locker website. And then the next pair are these. I wanna say I bought these when I was in America, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, just a nice purple color. And then Sprout got me um, the Timberland Champion Collection. So these ones are a bright blue, have a bit of like red on, they've got Champion on the back, love them. Yeah, it's just making me want to wear these all again because I've like kind of just forgot how nice they are. I'll just come down and do it. I don't have my Louis Vuitton boots with me, but when I bring them back next time, I'll show you guys them anyway. Let's do Converse's. So I did recently get rid of um, a few Converse's. I had some bright pink ones that I really loved, but I didn't really get much use out of them. And I bought um, the Cardi B Reebok pink shoes to kind of replace that. So I didn't want to like keep too many. I had white leather ones that I didn't really wear anymore and I bought white Skechers, so I got rid of them. I've left, I've left more shoes at home. I've got some nude Converse's at home. Are they nude yet? Yeah, nude ones. I've got some Skechers sandals, which I don't think you want to see, but I'm going to show you like the main good ones anyway. So next up is Tom and Jerry Converse. I love these ones. I wore these quite a few times. They just look like that. They are a little bit dirty. I do need to clean them. Like I said, I try to keep these pristine. I normally typically wear like most of my nice shoes and my designer shoes when it's not raining. Um, next up, we just have some nice little khaki olive shoes. And then next up, I love this box. It is obviously Scooby-Doo, but like, I love these ones. I just had to get like, obviously the collections, they had different styles and different like patterns, prints, whatever. But I wanted to get one of them all on, so that's what I got. And everyone loves these when I put them on Instagram, so they were the ones that I got. And then I have some, these are like my all time favorite shoes, Disney Vans. These are like so many years old now. And Sprout has a bell pair and a jasmine pair, I think. But sorry, you are never gonna get shoes like these again. Alice in Wonderland, stunning. 
nobody can tell me otherwise i absolutely love these i will try and keep these in mint condition and then i have a pair of adidas shoes which i was debating on getting rid of i'm not too sure they're what are they equipment support i don't even i can't remember what these like this model was they're just baby pink basically cute yeah i just don't really wear them that much so, right next up we have the cardi b reebok ones i got these for super cheap on zalando they were like what are they like 65 or something they were down to 35 i had a voucher which had like 25 quid on no 20 quid on so i only paid 15 and i think i had discount on top of that but i love these these are what i got to replace my pink converses love 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 these okay so moving on to designer ones these are the very first louis vuitton ones i ever bought i got these like the day after valentine's day that's when they got delivered and yeah i just treated myself i can't remember why these are my first pair of designer shoes they look like they have like the logo there they are still pretty much like oh no logos this side sorry logo there they are still pretty much mint condition they are like i always keep like all the stuff in them i keep them wrapped up in their dust bags like i do it like no matter what yeah they get black lace of them i was gonna sell them but my mum and sister like begged me to keep them so i just yeah i've kept them next up i am so sorry i do need to dust these boxes balenciaga now these are like also one of my favorite shoes like i said everything literally everything gets wrapped back like how it came um these don't have dust bags but love these shoes they do make your feet look so big um but yeah like literally as you can see i don't wear that they wear them that much they're just mint condition like i said everything goes back in keeps them in shape yeah i love these they're just really big on your feet though like you literally look like you've got clown feet last two we have a versace and i'm such a faff doing all this so that's what they look like i got these in the sale sprout bought them for me obviously love green had to get them so yeah they were i think like they're like originally like 500 quid but i got them for like 200 maybe and then these are my black ones i love these again these were in the sale um i just love the print and yeah i could get a lot of use out of these i need to start wearing a bit more i have to wear like the bigger socks though just so it covers the back they don't really these ones rub only on one foot the green don't rub none of the other shoes that i have rub which is good because yeah especially when you're paying like that money that much money for designer shoes you don't want them to rub okay so i went and picked up some more of my shoes yesterday so i'm going to finish off showing you some of the shoes that i have i forgot a couple of other pairs that i had but i just want to show you guys so i mean i've got about like five million vases here but i picked up this really nice pampas grass and vase from an etsy seller so she did sell it together it was like 50 pounds which is kind of expensive but I think the pampas grass was 28 pounds alone but obviously it's just like a permanent decoration now in the living room look how beautiful my sunflowers are that i bought so my current plan is i'm just gonna like start putting some of my disney stuff on display in my wardrobe i am a little kid i don't care because i finally picked up most of it i've still got like five snow globes that i need to pick up from my parents house just wanted to show you guys the other other shoes so this is my louis vuitton boots i can't remember what these are called they're like the desert desert type boots but i've had these for a good few years now they're pretty much plain and simple but yeah that's what they look like i love these they are super comfortable as well i think the last time i wore them i was like oh these aren't as comfy as i remember but i did used to wear them quite a bit so they are like worn in my goal now is to start wearing my shoes more and then um just some like nude converses that i mentioned before and these are the ones that i forgot i had guys they're vans they are from the halloween collection these i had to get because i love pennywise and they were like the best ones to choose from so they do have like balloons the checkered and it's got like losers and then i love the sole because it says your float too so yeah i haven't worn them yet because i completely forgot all about them and then all i did was bring another pair of like sketcher sandals and then my black timberlands and then the really cute like sparkly dolls kill shoes from the wizard of oz collection so now i'm gonna have to find a home for all of these because like i said i've got too many shoes yeah i'm gonna start organizing my disney stuff can't fully complete it until i bring home the other globes but i'm gonna do like a full room tour when it's all complete in a few weeks i feel like you're getting so many different like clips i just i'm editing this current vlog at the moment and obviously i need to end it out but what i thought i would do is give you kind of like one last quick tour 
of the room because I think the next time I'm going to show you guys I will literally just show you like a full room tour. I've still got a few bits to do that might not get done when I next show you. So it's so annoying that you can't really see my canvas picture that well because of the door. Um, so yeah, we might have to sort this out. So yeah, I've still got a lot of sorting out to do. I've got to find home for shoe boxes, get rid of these boxes, sort out my socks. In the end, I've just had to shove shoe boxes down here. I've kind of like put in some of my Disney stuff. Obviously I've got some snow globes. I just had to use that for shoes because I've got nowhere to put all my stuff. So I need to get my other snow globes and then we can do a full thing. I don't know what to do with this guys. These are my new chest of drawers. It took me like two hours to build them. I was kind of proving to Bernard that I can do DIY myself. <laughs> and yeah, I don't really know what to do with this, whether to leave it there. And then I also got a new mirror. Woo, finally. I got this gorgeous lamp and I also got a smart bulb as well that I need to install the app and then I can change the color. So I won't go into too much detail where everything's from because obviously I'm gonna do a full room tour and then I can tell you then. So yeah, I'm gonna end out this vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry if it's a bit like all over the place, but I know a lot of you wanted to see my shoe collection and there's a certain someone that wanted to see it. So I finally got it up. So yeah, lots more vlogs to come. Please do subscribe to this channel because I see a lot of you aren't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, please. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.